Okay, I'm Nick Laidlaw and today we're gonna to do some basic hip mobility. So we're gonna start in our squat position and we're gonna feel into this position. I've had a previous couple of videos outlining the benefits of being in this resting squat. Uh, the person who taught me a lot of the benefits, I naturally migrated to this position when I went to Indonesia for the first time when I was like 14 years old. I just thought it was, I saw all the locals doing it. I saw a lot of them, how healthy they looked and how a lot of the elderly men were doing it as well, men and women, and they looked like their knees and ankles and hips were in good condition. And the reason why I want to be in good condition is so I can surf and uh, show people this kind of stuff until I die, hopefully. So I saw it as a real plus, and now it's becoming more and more popularised. But uh, one of my teachers, Ido Portal, he's done some studies and he reckons that a good 30 minutes of this accumulative a day is going to be really good for your back, for your digestive organs, as well as for the, all the connective tissue around the ankles, knees and hips. So be here, uh, find as many different varieties and positions that you can be when you're here. You can mobilise your spine, you can extend your body, like I've shown in previous videos, but if you've got a sore lower back and sore hips or tight hips, especially if you're an athlete or a surfer, um, get into the squat position. The second one, we'll get a little bit more specific, is the hip flexor stretch. Again, I've showed varieties of this before. I'll do a bit more of a dynamic one today. We lean forward, keep the weight on the heel, lean forward and back. We progressively load this. We want to have the knee to start flirting with the idea of getting in front of the toes, providing that there's no pain. So you always start conservatively and you can move deeper and deeper. Rocking back and forth, keeping the weight on your heel, keep the spine nice and open. On the 10th repetition, hold here, 10 seconds. And then you can repeat the same process on the other side. So side on, toes tucked under, chest up, leaning forwards and back. 10 repetitions, on the 10th rep, you would hold for 10 seconds. After that, we'll go into the 90-90 stretch. So, a ver and this is just a different variation of one I've shown before. This would just be a really good morning routine. Two 90 degree angles, hip to the knee, straight line, knee to the foot, a straight line. The spine is lined up, the shoulders are pulled back. We draw the navel to the spine and then we hinge forward. We don't want to be hunched forward, we want to keep that spine long. I'm trying to push this front knee through the floor. As I hinge forward, give myself five breaths, progressively, every time I exhale, progressively deepen the stretch. It doesn't mean I need to move chest to the floor, but I slowly get deeper and deeper. After five breaths, I can then circle the hips. So it's my left knee forward, so I look over the left shoulder, and I keep tension in my body as I lean and crawl myself all the way around towards my foot, all the way back to neutral. I'll do the other side. And just like with the hip stretch, if there's one side that's tighter, use logic and spend more time on the tighter side. And that is one of the basis of uh, corrective exercise. So tighten or stretch what's a little bit tighter. So those three exercises should give, put you in good stead to have really open hips. So enjoy.